The Panama Canal is an engineering marvel, made necessary due to the multi-level geographical nature of the territory, which prevented the construction of a simple sea-level canal. Instead of being a straight channel from one ocean to another, it uses a system of locks, giant water elevators, to lift and lower ships across the canal. Here is how it works. Ship enters the canal from either the Atlantic or Pacific side. It moves into a series of locks which fill up with water to lift the ship to the level of Gatun Lake, a man-made lake in the middle of the canal. The ship then crosses the lake and reaches another set of locks which lower it back down to sea level. Finally, the ship exits on the other side and continues its journey. This system allows massive ships to pass through safely. In fact, modern Panamax and Neo Panamax ships are designed specifically to fit through the canal's locks. The engineering principles behind the canal's operation rely on gravity, water displacement and hydrostatic pressure. The locks use enormous gates and culverts that channel water between chambers, effectively lifting or lowering ships without the need for pumps. When a ship enters a locked chamber, gravity allows water to flow in from a nearby tank, raising the water level until it matches the next section of the canal. The gates then open, allowing the ship to move forward. This process is reversed when lowering a ship, as water is drained into lower chambers or back into Gatun Lake. Engineers carefully designed the canal to minimize water waste using a system of cross-connected basins to recycle as much water as possible while maintaining the necessary water levels for operations.